Hello again and welcome back to another illegally cited Twitch stream. This is Jesse here. And yeah, doing things a little bit differently. Trying it on a Sunday afternoon, uh, a little after 3 o'clock. Thought about streaming last night, but really just wasn't in the mood. Um, didn't really know what I wanted to play. Kind of was in the reading mood, so I ended up doing some of that instead. And yeah, um, the early access updates continue. I am going to check out the latest update for Vampire Survivors. We got a new character. If I would have thought about it, I should have streamed it from the beginning. Um, because I did unlock the new character, but I haven't used them yet. Um, there was another unlock where you had to find a coffin. They introduced that in one of the previous updates on that... Um, dairy level or whatever it was called and yeah we unlocked a new character and yeah so this big new guy here he's got some sort of a new weapon we're gonna try out and you know we're gonna test things out we're gonna play it on the library now in order to unlock this guy you had to find a coffin on that top level there, that mad forest level. So we did that. I did that a little bit earlier. Now I get away. I was adjusting my volume really fast. Okay, so it's kind of got a X-shaped projectile thing going on here. Ooh, that's kind of loud. That's a different music. I don't think I remember hearing that before. Um, we'll do crosses, why not? I like to have a little bit of offense in the beginning. Yeah, I, I don't know how long I'm going to stream. I guess it depends on uh, if people show up and, you know, how long I end up playing this, whatever. You know, maybe I'll pop into something else or something, but... But, um... I figured since I didn't stream yesterday, and I like to at least try to offer up a stream on the weekends, um, I figured I'm going to play it anyway, something relaxing, can just kick back and chat with people if they pop in, so yeah, just uh, another cold Sunday, I mean it was really nice, we had like, okay yeah, let's get some garlic. Um, you know, we had a, a nice week about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and then it decided to cool down again. Like, we were in the 40s, 50s, hell, I think we actually broke 60 one day. Um, but yeah, now we're back down to, God, what, oh, I want that too. I like that attack too, but, uh. But yeah, so the weather just got crap again. Now we're in the 30s, maybe some 40s this week. But yeah, it is what it is. At least we're getting some rain. We're getting some, you know, I hate the sleet kind of stuff that we're getting. Uh, a little bit of snow here and there, but I haven't been out in the last couple of days, but... At least last I was out a few days ago. Um, a lot of the ice and snow are pretty much gone. So anything that comes, I'm hoping that it just, you know, maybe if we get a little dusting, it'll just go away right away. And we won't have to worry about... We won't have to worry about stuff, you know? Because that's the thing, is... It's the ice and the snow that I can't stand, especially the ice. I'm sure I'll be going out either later today or tomorrow, so got to take the garbage out and do a couple of other odds and ends, so we shall see. But I like this new weapon. It's kind of nice, actually. I mean, especially if you can get, you can kind of get an eight-way attack if you do it right, because you can get like the axes, um, you could do the whip, you could do this weapon. Ooh, and a duplicator. Well, I don't mind if I do, sir. 
Now we're talking. I, oh, I like where this is going. But yeah, you can get vertical, horizontal, and then you can also get this sort of X-shaped thing. So yeah, you know, and then if you get something like garlic or the Bibles, you can get like basically a crazy whirlwind uh, of attack in every single direction. That's pretty great. Um, let's see. <laughs> this music. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to level this up. So there's an achievement where I don't even want to begin to figure out how to say some of these. Uh, but there's a couple of these. This new weapon and then the one that I just grabbed. Um, I need to upgrade and evolve them. So I, I would think that the... The library would be a good place to do it. You know, um, I, I basically I have, I think, three achievements I have to get. Um, I have to survive for 10 and then 15 minutes with this guy, which doesn't seem difficult at all. And then I need to evolve these two weapons. So I'm guessing they do some kind of crazy combined attack similar to how the birds were for that one guy which I really the difference between this uh, is that I actually like these weapons even in the beginning whereas the birds I really didn't I mean they were really powerful if you got them upgraded but in the beginning they kind of sucked all right, we've got more axes, or crosses, I should say. I, I mix those up. I say the wrong thing. But yeah, um, okay. I'm trying to remember what clover. It's been a while since I've actually played this. So I'm trying to remember what the clover matches with. Oh, shoot, you know what? I don't even know what the these other weapons evolve with. I didn't even look. Next time one comes up, I'll have to... Yeah, I'll upgrade them, but uh, in I kind of made a mistake. And I don't know what the hell they evolve. Okay. Pierces through enemies. I thought it would... I thought it says somewhere what they evolve with. Oh, crap. All right, well, whatever. I'll get another duplicator because duplicator is, I think to me, the one of, the one of if not the best item in the game, man. You're, as far as, uh, like, passive abilities. Yeah, so I don't know... Hmm. Yeah, that was an oversight on my part. I don't know what... I don't know what item evolves these. Haha. <laughs> well, at least I'll get the two survival achievements. I don't think I'll have too much trouble getting those. I'm trying to think of something that... Um, like an item that hasn't been used... I mean, I... I mean, curse... That was with another weapon, I think, so... It's probably not that one. Hell, I don't know what weapon, or I don't know what secondary item it is. Damn, I'm getting level ups like crazy, though. That I'm fine with. And I really do like the magnet, because I can get... Uh... I can get upgrades just super fast. <laughs> the library is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, we'll go more garlic. Put more of a 
Mike McKenna 2169. Barrier. What are you playing tonight? How long are you planning on playing? I don't know how long. Um, I think this might be a shorter stream. Um, but I, I'm just, I pop back into uh, Vampire Survivors because there's more content coming out. So I figured, well, let's see what we can unlock. Got some more achievements, got some more, just unlocked a character. Got some new weapons, so just, you know, kicking back, chatting with anyone who shows up. Uh, didn't stream yesterday, like I said, because I just uh, was not really feeling the streaming vibe, shall we say. Wanted to do some other stuff, so I figured, well, I'm going to play this anyway. Let's just fire up a stream and anyone who wants to stop in can. But, yeah, this weekend is just going by way too fast. Can't believe it's already Sunday. Yeah, shoot, I wish I knew what I wish I knew what would evolve these. I forgot to look it up and I I thought it would I thought it said on like where you upgrade, but Well, we'll get the survival achievements anyway, McKenna like I 20, said. 169. How much vision must you have to play this game? Um... I... Uh, I mean, you have to have 20, some 169. usable vision. I hope your day is going good. I am really glad I was able to pop in this time. Yeah, today's going pretty well. Um, nothing too exciting, but that's fine, you know. I've kind of been just chilling out, catching up on a few videos and doing some reading and stuff like that. So I figured I'd stream for a little while. Uh, as far as vision that you need to play this, like I said, you do need... Some usable vision because you need to kind of see where your character is. You need to see what's around you. These screens right here. Yeah, let's do some more. Let's do some damage. Let's do that. Um, you know, you got to be able to see what upgrades are available when you choose them. So, um, and I would say if you, like I said, the, especially later on toward the late game, it really does get rather hectic. I mean, there's literally hundreds of enemies swarming in on you, and some levels more than others, I think, are easier or harder to see based on that. So I would say, you know, if people... The nice thing is, is your character always pretty much stays in the middle of the screen. That is actually a really nice Lieutenant thing. 2169. How do you feel about us getting to know each other on the phone? I have been talking to another blind gamer as well. I was hoping someday we could be able to actually chat with each other voice to voice. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, nothing against you or anybody. Big Boss 871. But... Hey guys. Hey, boss man. What's up, man? Just chilling, playing a little bit of uh, Vampire Survivors. Kind of got some new updates in there. I think, yeah, that's right. I was telling you about this game last time when you were in. Um, but to answer your question, like I said, it's not anything really against you or anything. Um, I just, I don't, unless it's somebody I really know or just something really specific, I don't. I don't really like give my phone number out to Big Boss people. 871. Did you get any good edit? Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, I actually no, this game I actually do pretty well. This game I've gotten all the achievements so far. It's in early access. Um, but they just um, they they released another update this weekend. And uh, so there's the I just unlocked this new character who's got a new weapon and 
Uh, I'm getting, hopefully getting an achievement. I have to survive 10 and then 15 minutes on a level with this character. And I don't remember what the hell I'm, um, sub items I need to evolve these new weapons. I'll have to look that up later, but I'm just playing a couple Big rounds just 71. because. Dude, did you try Saifu? I sure did. I actually streamed it one day. Um, I, I can't really play it right now because, well, uh, I don't... Mm, I don't know if my current rig could run it or not. Uh, I'm still waiting for my damn new computer to come back. They're taking their sweet ass time on that. So I'm waiting for that to come back, but yeah, I did try Sifu and um, yeah, I, I can get my ass kicked pretty well. Um, I really struggle on that second level. I really struggle. <laughs> on that second level I can't even get to the boss yet but I haven't played it a ton uh, it is a really neat game though like um, 2169 can I give you my number and when you feel comfortable we can start texting or something you know, if you want to but I mean, like I said, I just, I, I try to, I mean, I'm not saying I do this professionally because I absolutely don't. This is just like, a, oh, okay, let's stream every once in a while. Um, I'm not a huge phone person to begin with. Like, you know, I'll talk to my, a couple of my friends every once in a while, but, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm not really that kind of... Big Boss 871. Person, so. I had trouble with the second level too, but I beat it. Oh, oh very but nice. I beat it. Laughing face. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I got to. I always get to the part, and I've beaten them once, but I just I take a beating so badly. Um, early on in the level, and I get to the part where those, those there's those two bouncers. You get that chick that uh, she'll talk to you. And then you get those two bouncer dudes, those big fat dudes. McKenna2169. Also, are you still willing to try dungeons and such for the channel? I've gotten really high in that game and still really love it to this day. Yeah, it's it is on my list. I, I really should um, I really do need to try not just dungeons and such, but there's a couple of other accessible games that I do need to get around to playing um i mean like i said it's it's weird because admittedly like i want to cover accessible games i really really do um but a lot of these text-based games they're fun for me for a little while they're fun to me for a little while but they just don't hold the same they a lot of them don't hold the same appeal um, or I just kind of get tired of them a lot quicker than I do uh, mainstream games. I mean, part of it is like this, I don't want to say simplicity because there's a lot that can go into text games. Um, but I guess I'm just so used to playing visual games Big Boss 871. that when you play the first level, you can replay with the keys for shortcuts T.O.J. to the boss quick. Right. I, and I've done that. I think I made it to the second level at... Oh, criminy. Um... Oh, I, I, it was either... High 20s or right around 30? I got cheesed a couple times. Big and Boss 871. I was 36 my first attempt. Mm-hmm. I'm... Yeah, I'm younger than that, but I, I can't remember because, like I said, I played that... Odds are I'm going to have to start over from the beginning because I don't know if my hard drive data is going to be... If I'm going to get the same drive when I get my computer back or if I'll have to start everything from square one, but either way, I'll, I'm sure I'll be playing the first 
level again just to get the hang of the game. It, I mean, it's one that I really do want to like. Uh, and I do like it, but man, I am just terrible. Uh, games that are like super difficult, I, I am not the greatest at those games. But yeah, I mean, as far as accessible Big games... Boss 871. Pro tip, play the practice mode a lot. Yeah, I should do that more too, for sure. And, you know, I've kind of gotten the hang of doing some of the, like, you know, high and low dodges. But especially some of the special moves I haven't quite gotten to grips with as well. And I think... McKenna 2169, depending on how long the stream is, would you be willing to try it a little bit on the phone? Or are you willing to possibly see about the veil on hardcore mode for a while? You don't have to, but I just want to suggest... I don't even have that installed. I don't even have the veil installed on this computer. Big Boss 871. It's hard to interpret or some moves. Right. The other thing that I kind of that I'm noticing is I don't know there's there was this trend I think when the I think really when the when the Souls games became popular, where like a lot of these combat games, you would use the face buttons for combat, but then when the Souls games came out, they started using the triggers and the bumpers, and I don't find that to be near as comfortable. Um, I just I don't like hitting. It's not so much the triggers, but especially the bumpers. Um, you know, it's like, oh, you got a left bumper to block or whatever, and then, I don't know, they just, I almost wish I could use the face buttons. Just seems like it would be a little more comfortable. Big Boss 871, I don't like to press triggers to fight. Right, exactly, exactly, but that's what, like I said, the Souls games do it, Sifu does it. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of recent games that are centered around combat that do that. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know that I have the right item to evolve the weapon that I'm currently using right now. So we'll just see how well we can survive. We're at 14 minutes. Okay, so that's not too bad. We're almost... We almost met the requirement for both of those survival achievements. And then I think when I do that, I will unlock these weapons that I have for this character for everybody. Big Boss that's 871. That's typically the way this works. I don't use triggers on Saifu. X light attacks. Why strong attacks? Okay. Why plus B to knock an enemy down? Yeah, I... I can't remember. No, maybe... Like I said, I, I've been playing, uh, you know, different games off and on, and I forget what the control scheme is, so you're, you could be right. I haven't played Sifu in, well, at least over a month, because my computer, my new rig, has been in the shop. I got it. It happens to me. That's yeah, all right. I honestly, I haven't really been playing near as many games. That's why I haven't been streaming as much lately either. Um, I mean, I'm kind of toying with the idea. Like, I like to stream, but I feel like to do it, you know, to have an, you know, to actually have people in the chat room, you really do got to do it on a regular basis, you know, just so you can have a kind of schedule and people can start to expect that. Similar to, I've, you know, I'm really good about releasing videos on the days that I do. Um, but like I said, the difference is I can record a video whenever I want. Um, streaming, you know, it's, of course, live. So, you know, with all the other day job and other side tech projects, all those types of things, I... You know, some weekends I just am not really in the mood for streaming. And, ooh, I was hoping I'd get a... What is that? Okay, that's just that. I was hoping I'd get an Evolve. Um, I 
it's like I said, it's kind of strange because I like to stream, but at the same time, I've thought about actually stopping streaming for the most part and just concentrating more on the pre-recorded videos thing. Um, I've kind of been toying with that idea off and on for the past mm, year and a half or so. Um, like I said, sometimes I, I some at some points I feel like streaming more than others, and it's really fun. Um, but sometimes I'm just like, well, if I did just the videos, I could probably do, you know, even more of those, or I could do better work there. Um, so I don't know what the future of streaming is for me. Um, I definitely appreciate the people that do, you know, that do come in. We've got a pretty good group of people that McKenna either, 21, you know, that 69. come in. I really hope you don't quit. That would really suck because I really like being able to talk to you. Oh, much appreciated. Jeez, I'm getting chests galore. McKenna2169 I don't care if you only do it every once in a while, mm -hmm. but I would really be sad if we couldn't do this together anymore. Big Boss 871, someone has a fan. Yeah. Laughing face. <laughs> yep. Oh, let's see. I think we'll go with the Bibles, because it gives it, or not the Bibles, the empty tome. That will give me a quicker recharge, which we're starting to get a lot of the hordes coming by now. So we're really going to start to need as much of a defensive wall as we can get. God, we're getting all kinds of upgrades here. We get a couple bracers that will make things, all the projectiles shoot even faster, which will be very help, helpful. And yeah, we'll upgrade the whip again. The whip is really nice on this on this level. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like this new weapon. It's you know, it, it kind of does the diagonal. So I've got my horizontal, and I've got uh, four angles, kind of in an X pattern. So it works really well. Kind of keeps them away. Yeah, it's it's kind of an interesting thing because, like I said, it's uh, streaming in the videos and, you know, I'm doing some accessibility consulting stuff every now and again and then just, like, with my day job. Um, I don't want to say that I'm getting burnt out because I'm really, I'm not yet, but, um, like I said, sometimes I'm just like, you know, I spend so much time in front of a screen that I just, I don't want to do that quite as much these days. Um, that's where I'm, you know, playing a lot more drums and reading and stuff like that these days, just because it's like, I need a little bit more variety. I need to get away from the screen. McKenna 2169, I will be your fan until the day I die. I will also be fans of this guy named Michael Gray that I watch as well. Oh, we're Jeffries. getting down to it. Yes, streaming is tough to keep consistent with, and I'm sure it's a lot on top of the normal workflow. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not hard, really. You know, you just, once you have it set up, it's not really hard to initiate, but there is definitely an art to basically trying to uh, multitask and not completely suck at a game, and then have the have the chat to be fairly interesting as well or at least entertaining or whatever so it is kind of an interesting um interesting balance and i think some games are easier to do it than others but yeah i mean it's like i said with the accessible games i appreciate them and i really like them, but I wish they held my attention better. You know, I mean, because even if you're playing, let's say, ooh, flamethrower, yeah, now we're talking. Even if you're playing a game that is really, you know, pretty complex, like a voiceover game that is really complex, 
it kind of boils down to like a lot of it is a lot of these games like you're just choosing things from menus and I I kind of find some of that to be boring after a while like I'm a big fan of being able to control a character you know actually move them around a screen or big boss 871 it happens a lot the accessible game is not quite the one you wanted to be accessible laughing face yeah i mean do you play many accessible do you play many like audio games or or uh, like voiceover accessible games or screen reader friendly games there big boss I know you play a lot of like the low vision games that we've been talking about, or the, the mainstream games. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I, you know, this is where, like, yeah, I have menus to choose upgrades and stuff. But you know, I like the more uh, kind of like actiony, skill-based nature to a lot of your mainstream games. I mean, even um, there. I mean, eight seventy-one. Everything with TDS, ah. I use it laughing face. Totally. Oh, that I will 110% agree with. That I will 100 and yes. TTS in any game, abs are freaking lootly. Uh, and I'm glad to see that's becoming more of a trend because as that happens, um, you know, and if they add a few accessibility features elsewhere, that is ultimately the trend that I want to see happen is... I want to play the same games that everybody else plays, you know, I don't want to have to necessarily, you know, like I said, I'm glad they're there, but I don't necessarily want to have to play games that are, you know, specifically for blind people. Um, you know, I want to be in the same conversations, like, you know, Big oh, we're, we're talking about seafood. In Immortals Phoenix Rising, being able to have narration everywhere is amazing. Yes, yes, a lot of the Ubisoft games from that year... Uh, I think that was a 2020 game. Um, they also do that in um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Big Boss 871. And Everything becomes so much natural. Well, and what I always tell people, and I've I've given several presentations on this too for different like different places. And what I tell people is, I can save my vision for actually playing the game. You know, I can have I can take a break and I can let. The text Ryan, to speech. Check the code. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. I I very very briefly checked it out. I got through like the little prologue thingy, uh, but I haven't really played. I haven't really played much of anything this weekend. That's why I didn't stream last night, as I just really haven't. I've been more of in a reading and drumming mood this weekend. Um, yeah. I mean, I like. I actually I like the music Lieutenant in that. Twenty one sixty nine. Hope you won't think I'm crazy or weird. But I have all of the baby adopter games on my phone because I feel like they are cute. Blind Ryan. Oh yeah, some other I people like them too. All the games Derek got that might be playable. Mm-hmm. Tongue sticking out. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I like the I really like the art style and I like the music and stuff in it. Um, you know, really text-heavy games like that, kind of more your turn-based stuff. I'm not generally into near as much or like the tactic style games. I don't really play too many of those. Um, so, I mean, I, I will definitely I will definitely give it more of a shot here. Like I said, I got through the prologue, but um, I will definitely pick it up again and uh, see how far I can get. But, uh, yeah, like here. 871, when advocating, I tell all about how I hate to have a lot of text and not being able to read ET. Honestly, yes, that is one of the hardest things. Like, playing the game is one thing, um, but especially as so many more games are being more complicated, you have skill trees, you have quests, you have inventories, um, just having that, like, text-to-speech is really helpful. Um, and like I said, what I want to see is I want to see more mainstream games implement Blind that. Ryan, the way I explain it is if you're gonna have text, blind slash six people need a way to easily consume it. Right. Big Boss 871. Totally. 
and most of them in floating boxes of text. Big Boss 871, mm -hmm. sucks. Blind Ryan, VI. Yeah, no, that's just the way the synthesizer does it. It happens to me all the time, I get it. I, I knew exactly what you meant. I mean, like I said, there are some blind game. Uh, there are some games that are developed for blind players that I do like, um, but it's a lot harder for me to stay hooked on those. Um, I just I don't find them as compelling. I mean, I'm just being truthful. Um, you know, I, like I said, there are plenty of games. Even the one that you just sent the code for the other day, like. That is more, you're reading a lot of text, you're going through a lot of menus, you're, you know, it's really more of a uh, methodic, turn-based approach pace, but, so there's some sighted games that do that too, but those just generally don't, and that's what a lot of the blind games are, they're either, I, a lot of the blind games I, I feel fall into, like, really kind of complex, text-heavy games, or if they are action, they're kind of like something that you would maybe get on an Atari 2600 era, or maybe early NES era, which I love NES, don't get me wrong. I Line freaking Ryan. love the NES. The but... other thing is not every game is for every person. Mm -hmm. Some people are into text heavy. Some right. are more into action heavy. Yeah, and I'm Some more... Some are into both or none on a given day. Exactly. Case I mean, in and... point, Yakuza is a lot of both. Oh, for sure. A lot of both. Tongue sticking out. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, even the games that are a little bit more text heavy and stuff, that's where I do like a lot of this accessibility trend because I will play a few more of those now because it just makes that aspect of the game a lot easier for me. Okay, we got our big boss coming here. Blind we'll Ryan. This guy. Check out the bitter. That dev took my ideas and ran with them. It's like an XBLA game from early aughts. You'd like it. Which one is that? Twin Stick Shooter. Which one is that? Blind Ryan. D-E-V-A-D-E-R. Oh, okay. No, I haven't played that one. Big Boss 871. Oh, I have to check that one. I don't know if you've played the recent update, Ryan, but I... only thing is, I don't know what th these weapons that I've got, these new weapons that this character has, they're cool, but I forgot to look. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what uh, item evolves them. And uh, that'll be one of my next sort of achievements that I have to shoot for. I've already gotten the survival. I gotta survive 10 or 15 minutes with this guy, which I've already done. Blind Ryan. It's not blind accessible, but it is very VI accessible. Mm-hmm. And mobility impaired accessible, too. Yep. Yeah, honestly, I haven't really done much gaming at all for the past several days. I've kind of played a little bit here and there, but that's why I didn't stream Line last Ryan. night. I've kind of Chest just been... To the left. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just kind of zoned out thinking about the games and chatting and whatnot. Like I said, I'm not too concerned. My offense is pretty decent. I don't know that I don't know how long I will actually stream this afternoon, but I figured since I was going to play this, I would set up a stream for a little while. Blind Ryan, I've been walking Chip four miles a day. He and I are very tired. I'm losing weight again. Just broke under 300. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm kind of wanting, I'm wanting it to warm up a little bit because I want to go outside myself a little bit more and start walking around more. Like I said, I'm trying to do drums and, you know, I, I, I do some stuff, you know, around. I walk around a little bit and I uh, do a lot of, like, weights and stretches and stuff, but I haven't really done a lot of walking recently because it's freaking cold. 
and then you have the ice and stuff like that up here. Uh, I was just telling people at the beginning of the stream that, yeah, it was nice and warm for a while. And then the last several days it's back down to like 30s and stuff again. We're getting sleet and rain and snow and when it kind of gets at night when it freezes, it gets super icy. So that's not any fun. So I'm hoping that... It looks like this week is going to be crap. But I'm hoping here in the next week or two it'll start Big to... Big Boss 871. Oh, I don't miss U.S. winter. Laughing face. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, the only, re the only reason I don't care so much is because I've been working from home so much the past year that I'm like, well, I don't really have to go anywhere. And when I do, I just kind of take out the garbage and get my groceries and do a couple other odds and ends, occasionally go into the office, but... Uh, I, I mean, I love working from home. Blind Ryan, I overdid it. Chip's gonna have to deal with tomorrow being barely any exercise. Yeah. I might be able to take him to the park. My I overdid it. positively screaming. I overdid it the other day because I got a little carried away with my weights, and then I, I tried, I fired up my... Oculus Quest again, and I was doing this, uh, I forget what it's called, this, this drumming game, and I got a little over, a little intense, and yeah, the shoulder kind of definitely felt it, uh, it, my shoulder still is pretty sore, so I'm pretty sure I pulled something, <laughs> so that was fun, but it's all good, I still gotta play drums later today, and get my, I usually try to get about at least half hour, anywhere between a half an hour, and an hour of drumming in every to every other day. Oh yeah, they're they're swarming me now. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. There, my offense is not. Oof, can I do another 30 seconds or better? Ugh. It's gonna be close. It'll be. Uh oh. And I don't have. Oh boy. And I don't have any buffer either. I don't have any laurels or. I mean, I've got the garlic, but it's not strong enough for what's coming. Let's just stay on the food. I'll see if I can get... Eh, I haven't used death yet, so... We should... Or I haven't used my revive. So... Uh-oh, I'm kind of backing myself into a corner here. Come on! There we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. So I'll revive one more time, and then I'll try my character maybe once and see if I can figure out what the hell it is I'm supposed to... Yeah, so... Do -do 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 -do. Let me see something really fast. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that dark text on the bottom. And if it would quit... Oh, okay, it just tells me what it unlocks, yeah. Blind Ryan, I just want to lose weight. LOL. But tasty food tastes so good. Totally I'm hear doing you. better, but... Yeah. Long Tot way to go. Yeah, I totally I'll be hear gunning you. for long-term soup construction next month. Giant pot, three Cuban pesos freezer bags, tons of veg... A little meat, some noodles for long-term hunger suppression. Mm-hmm. Should work a treat. My borscht really worked out well. Yeah, I'm thinking... Big think Boss 871, BRB. All right. I'm thinking I might... Tomorrow I'm thinking put a, of putting a roast in the crock pot. Then I'll be able to have some roast and potatoes, and I'll be able to have probably some roast sandwiches for the week. I like a good roast... Haven't had one for quite a while. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be my guy. And let's crank it up a little bit. Let's make it fun. And let's be, let's live on the edge. Blind Ryan. I'm going to get, oh. Roast beef and the fixins make for good long-term meals. Oh, yeah. Uh, this isn't really roast beef. It's more of like a, uh, I don't remember if I have a beef roast or pork roast. 
But uh, this is, I put it in the crock pot for a few hours and and uh, it's really good. I get um, I get farm fresh meat and stuff from my parents, so they'll send me stuff every once in a while. So that's really nice. It's a lot leaner than stuff you get at the store, and. Just a lot better quality. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think I will play this run, and then I might actually wrap up this stream. Um, I've been going for a little while, but uh, I think, yeah, we'll give it one more... One more run, and then... Uh, we'll wrap it up here. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'll have to call him after my stream. A friend of mine's calling me right now, so I'll call him in a little bit. But Yeah, there's a few other accessible games that I want to get around to, that I want to get around to checking out as well. Not just phone stuff. There's one or two on the computer that I want to look at, but... Oh, crap, i got to be careful about those stupid floor switches. They do bad things. I don't know that I'm going <laughs> to... This level is a little tougher to survive. There's a lot more obstacles, and then you have those floor traps. Um, it is definitely a lot more of a challenging level than a lot of your previous ones. Haven't seen any of the new weapons appear, but like I said, I'm not even sure what I'm what I need to evolve them. So I figured I'd just give this run on hyper mode a little bit of a you know a little bit of a try. Cause I think last time I streamed this I was having a lot of trouble. Um but I've gotten a little bit better at it, so it really just depends on the luck of the draw, too, like what... Uh-oh. Sneezing. Hold on. Not went away. Uh, it depends on what weapons you get. Um... Clover? I mean... I'm trying to remember what that pairs with. I think that's crosses, if I remember correctly. I think that's what that pairs with. Ah, floor switches. Yeah, at least it just got a horde that it just flew by me. So we're okay for now. Really wouldn't mind a magnet power up. Uh, let's have fun. Let's try lightning. Ooh, they really... Oh boy. Get away from me. Boy, those really swarm in on you, don't they? Those circles. I like the way that hyper mode feels. It's just, I like... You know, I know the enemy, enemies move faster, but I like how fast you're able to move. Because the normal speed is just like, wow. You're moving pretty slow. But yeah, I mean, the streaming thing is sort of up in the air right now. And again, it kind of depends. I'm still waiting for my computer to get back. I can't play a lot of the newer games as well as I want to right now just because my video card and my current rig is a little bit underpowered for a couple of the games that I want to try out. There's a couple uh, shooters that I kind of want to play. There's a couple of other games that I kind of want to check out eventually. Um, but they're just outside of the system require the system requirements, the specs for my current rig. So 
I don't know, HP is kind of annoying me right now. Um, it's been in the shop for repair, but they claim, oh, well, we don't know when are, we're going to get the boards back in. And they keep toying me around with different... Um, yeah, I better get some resurrections here. Um, with different dates as far as when it might come back. It could be anywhere from early April to early May at this point. So who freaking knows? But uh, yeah, apparently my motherboard, motherboard crapped itself. So it is what it is. But I'm just glad I have the rig that I have. I can still get a lot of work done. I can still play some stuff. Um, so I'm still really glad I have it. Ah, damn it, I hit... Oh, okay, that just... That, that did the circular horde. Okay, got it. Yeah, more! But I hope everyone is having a good weekend, nonetheless. Uh, <coughs> it's Like I said, it's going by way too fast. Can't believe it's already mid-Sunday afternoon and get away from me. Yeah, Bibles are good. They do a nice surround attack if I can get them. Wow, oh, leveled up enough, and I walk right over a floor switch. Oh, okay, we got a mini horde. Let's see if we can kill them. This one's a lot more like hardcore dodging things because these enemies are very spongy. They're very spongy. They don't just die from one or two hits of your weapons. You really gotta hang around them quite a bit more before they finally perish. Yeah, it looks like I'll probably have a few other things I need to do here fairly shortly. So I think I will wrap it up after this particular run, depending on how far I get. But uh, just wanted to fire up a quick stream this weekend. I'm still kicking. Oh my god, they just... It's getting overwhelming. Like I, I, There's just so many enemies, I can't even plow through them. I gotta keep running. I mean, the uh, magnets help to give me experience, but I really need more. I feel like I need axes or something. Alright, maybe I need some spinach to increase my power. Duplicator wouldn't hurt either. Duplicator really, really, really helps. And on this level, actually, the pentagram can be really nice because it'll basically make... You know, you miss out on a lot of your experience from it, but it really does help zap a screen full of enemies away. And especially when these guys are as persistent as they are. See, I want to go back up here and get these enemies that I've been Big running boss away 871. from. boss Have to go. Thanks for the stream, All right. Man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping in. I'm probably not going to be playing for too much longer here myself. I'm going to end after this run. But, um, yeah, I'm sure we'll chat with you around again. Good luck on Sifu. Big Boss 871. Hope you keep getting more and more fans. Yeah, we'll see how things go. 
we'll see how things go. Like I said, we do generally have a pretty good community of people that uh, fairly regularly pop in from time to time, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I almost got run over by that minecart. <laughs> <clears throat> We'll see how things go. Big Boss 871. I'm kidding, but you deserve mad. <laughs> Big Boss 871. Oh, Take care. Alrighty, have a good one. Yeah, it's actually a lot later over there, I think, isn't it? You're over in Europe, I think? I always forget. Oh, no. I just got overwhelmed. I got just massacred. Oh, it's a stupid Big Boss death guy. Oh, God. 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it is getting a little late. Yeah, so I can't kill Green Death there. Yeah, they just put little uh, mini deaths in the level, and if you're not paying attention, they'll just instantly kill you no matter what your health is. So, yeah, this level you have that to look forward to until the prick disappears. Okay, let me get my chest. Big Boss 871. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I watch you at 2 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've been in some pretty late streams when I've streamed in the evening, so... Oh, that's Big okay, Boss my... 871. I think I gained the right to ask for you phone number, ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just... I, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not super... Um... I don't know, it's just whatever, maybe with the climate or with the, you know, with the way things are. I mean, it's not that I am, you know, nothing against people, but I generally just, I don't give my phone number out to Big Boss very many people. Dude, I don't even use phone. Hey, I don't, you know, more power to you. I very rarely talk on the phone myself, so... I'll pop into a chat every now and again. I'll know there's like maybe two or three friends that I'll talk to you on occasion, but otherwise it's just uh, I'm a hermit. I'm good with that. I like being a hermit. God, I can't. I can't make any headway. These guys just keep on... Oh, great. I stepped on a switch, too. Big <sighs> Boss 871. Gonna leave the stream on to hell. Take care. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping in. We'll chat with you another time. I can't thin the, the horde. I just keep running away, and they, they, the horde just keeps getting bigger. I don't have enough offense to really make a dent. I feel like I, I really need a duplicator, and I really need... I want the Bibles, but I think I need a Laurel just to protect myself. Just to give me that little second or two buffer to get away from these enemies. I mean, at least these enemies are, well, I was going to say they're a little smaller, but they still seem to, they still seem spongier than they look. Because they look like they would go down in like a hit or something, but no, they are not. Let's do some more knives, because then I can cut through whatever direction I want. And I might have, oh god, okay, we got a boss. That's lovely. Oh, actually, that guy went down pretty quick. Ah, bullets. I really gotta find out... I mean, I haven't gotten the weapons in this run, but I really gotta find out what pairs with those weapons so I can get that Evolve achievement. Because you have to evolve both of these. They're funny names, I don't even know how to say it. Um, but you have to evolve both of the weapons at the same in the same run. 
kind of like how you had to do had to do for the birds, which was kind of sucky. At least I like I said earlier, I like these weapons better than I like the birds. They don't start off sucking. So, at least there's that. But I think I'm down to one achievement again, and once I figure out, whoa my god, once I figure out what evolves, what items evolve those, I, it shouldn't give me too much trouble. Assuming the, you know, assuming the RNG actually um, gives me something to work with. I won't do it probably on this level, I'll probably do it in the library, but... Because that is just the easiest level, I think, to manage. Yeah, look at all this. The enemies are just swarming. And it's only 13 minutes. There's no way in hell I'm going to survive 30. Oh, God. Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm almost... Let's get a little more damage. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost dead. I'm going to... I think I have one resurrection left. And I don't know where to find health. I kind of want to go, oh my, I, uh, no, we're dead. Okay, we got one more revive. I kind of want to go up and see if I miss some XP up here that I can get to farm. No, not really. Not really. I mean, there's a couple here and there, but not enough to really mean anything. Yeah. This, it really depends on the loadout that you get. It really depends on the luck of the draw for this level as to how easily I'm going to survive it. Um, I can still die pretty easily on this particular level. This one is by far the most challenging out of all the release levels so far. Everything is so spongy. They just don't die. Okay, apparently I had one more resurrect, which I didn't think I had. Now let's go in the dark area for a bit. Cut through here and get massacred. Oh no, and then I hit a switch. I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to stay away. Okay, well, they thinned out a little bit. They thinned out temporarily, but I know they're going to be back with a vengeance very soon. Yeah, now they're kind of... I just... I, I don't have enough power. They're just not dying. Yeah, I did not... Uh, I did not get a good run this time. So I can pretty much guarantee you that I'm not surviving. 30 minutes. My health is already garbage. And Bibles, I guess. That'll give me some surround. I don't know that it'll do. I don't know how much damage it'll actually do, but I'm at like a quarter health right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm on my last revive. I almost have to be. Yeah, there's another freaking death again. You just need to get... Oh, my... Yeah, they just need to go away. I'm just barely hanging on. These dudes, they're just... Got Sir Big Boss Man in the middle there, and... Just this... Inescapable... Horde. Yeah, this is not gonna end well, and it's gonna end soon. Oh no, oh yeah, it's... Yep, I'm dead. Well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped, or planned. But we did get a couple more achievements. We got a couple more unlocks, so 
it was uh, we accomplished something. So thanks to everybody for tuning in again. Um, I will put this up for a future um, future Monday stream. And I will hopefully have something cool to play next weekend, but uh, we'll see what happens for the next stream. Eternal Noobs underscore dorm room. Do you want to know the Evolve? Um, yes, I actually kind of do, but I'm still going to quit. I'm still going to quit the stream, I think. But um, I'll probably give you a call back here in a minute or two. But I uh, just want to wrap up the stream. Um, thanks for Eternal stopping Eternal Noobs underscore dorm room. Fair. Um... Thanks for stopping in, everybody, and hope you guys have a good weekend. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and youtube.com slash illegally cited. So until next time, I will chat with everyone again later.